I'm park interpreter Jan Schreiner and I was so impressed by how much positive feedback we had from our solar cooker galaxy choices video. Our viewers wanted to know more about the method and while I was tending this small uh, solar cooker I realized how much like this tending, this kind of monitoring and adjusting and is really a uh, can it be applied to our global pandemic that we are in right now, always adjusting to the new information, the sharing of resources. And so I wanted to put some thought into solar cookers and applications that we might have in parks and beyond. First of all, we need at least 40 minutes of sun per hour. Then look at the shadows to make sure the sun will be the right angle for your solar cooker. Then set up your solar cooker and make sure that the shadow is directly behind it, that there is not so much of a shadow next to it. And this is what may need to be adjusted as the time of the cooking goes on. While tending the solar cooker, we also have a chance to look around and see if there are interesting plants. What are these little beauties around me? Is there any litter I can pick up? How about these plants? They look like invasive weeds. My favorite things about solar cooking is the safety. Well, we don't have sparks that we have to worry about for parks. We're not emitting carbon or other kinds of particles into the air. It's clean. So people can use this around the world. Central and South America have been using it on a large scale. Also places in Africa such as Chad or Kenya where they need to heat the water to 160 degrees to kill the bacteria but they don't have much fuel. I'm bringing it back to home to this area. We are saving 20 pounds of atmospheric carbon which would be produced by every gallon of fuel in this way of cooking with the sun. So this pot has been sitting out in this morning sun and is now ready to be unloaded. And this is a quick demonstration. As we become more conscious of how our personal choices impact our community resources, I hope we'll see more solar cookers come into our parks. And if not in the park, hopefully you'll have time to reduce your household electricity by adding a solar cooker to your variety of supplies and create some rice or cook some potatoes, some stew, quesadillas, something like that. And uh, that way you can explore and play. There are lots of ideas on solarcooking.org including recipes and how to make one. And I hope uh, you will join us in parks with your experiments once our picnic areas are open. Check parkhere.org to see when that might be.